ladies and gentlemen, we will now conduct the Pass in Review. The Pass in Review is a time-honored tradition which allows the members of a command to pay respect to their commanding officer while allowing the commanding officer to inspect his troops. Staff! Order! Arms! Change post! Lock! Give your units order off! Pass and review! The leadership development path of an army officer is a defined progression, and in a combat service, the model for an infantry officer is the standard by which all army officers are judged. Throughout their careers, army officers compete for leadership positions that will help them to become citizens of character dedicated to serving their nation and community, and better officers ready and able to serve, not as followers, but as leaders in progressively more challenging assignments. Rising from a commissioning source, whether it is as a graduating cadet from the elite U.S. Military Academy at West Point, as a cadet in the Reserve Officer Training Corps, or as an officer candidate from the Officer Candidate School, a commissioned officer rises from the ranks of a company grade officer to a field grade officer, and only less than 2% of all commissioned officers graduate to the level of general level officer. And those who fail to plan, plan to fail in this ordered march of battle. The ideal first assignment for any good infantry officer is to serve as a platoon leader. And those who excel graduate to an assignment as a company executive officer, essentially the deputy commander for a combat company unit that can number over 250 assigned personnel. Shortages of available positions in a line company may cause even some very able officers to divert their career progression path by serving as battalion level staff officer or assistant staff officer in the primary staff department of personnel, intelligence, operations, or logistics. First up, Major Mike Webb began his officer career on active duty where he served as an aide-de-camp for the commander of the 902nd Military Intelligence Group, responsible for all counterintelligence in the continental United States. By table of organization, it was the only position an officer in the rank of lieutenant could possibly serve, and in this assignment he excelled, even standing up the counterintelligence operation cell for the entire United States Army in the aftermath of the bombing of the Alfred Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City. Next up is his competitor, Captain Thomas O. Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. We do not have any data on what exactly Captain O did as an active duty infantry officer, but if he is running for Congress, it must have been something really great we bet. After all, unlike Major Webb, who spent his enlistment time as an Army Ranger, Captain O used to be a... What? An automated logistics specialist. Hmm. As a second lieutenant, Major Mike Webb ran the battalion logistics section for a multi-discipline counterintelligence support battalion, updated the technology infrastructure for the Army Counterintelligence Center, planned and coordinated logistics support for the first ever worldwide counterintelligence production conference, relocated and remodeled the battalion headquarters, and achieved a commendable rating on a command supply discipline inspection that is for predecessors in the grade of captain had failed and restored property accountability to a table of distribution and allowances unit with millions of dollars in equipment and property. Next up is our candidates as captains. Generally in the Army, a newly commissioned junior company grade officer will spend 18 months from commissioning to promotion to first lieutenant, and another 18 months before being promoted to the rank of captain where most ABLE officers immediately assume the position their glowing officer evaluation reports predicted they were ready to perform immediately or ahead of their peers. And, I'm sorry again ladies and gentlemen, but we do not yet have any information as to what Captain O's first assignment was on active duty as an infantry officer. But whatever it was, it appears that he was not able to complete a full year in that position because he was released from active duty nine months after hitting the 36-month mark where all good officers are promoted to captain. 
but it looks like he was yet able to find a job in the National Guard as a case manager. I am confident it must be something really great, but it is not exactly a command job, like Major Mike Webb held in the United States Army Reserve immediately after promotion to the rank of captain in a drill sergeant unit that each year provided active duty annual training support to initial entry training soldiers in basic training and for summer session at West Point. Major Mike Webb spent four years as a company commander, annually setting the post record for first-time success rate for weapons qualification for basic trainees who had never had any experience at all with an M16. This concludes the Joint Services Command Pass and Review, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us this afternoon and for your continued and dedicated support to our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines serving stateside and in over 120 places throughout the world. And Rangers, lead the way. Non incautus futuri is the motto of Washington and Lee University, not unmindful of the future. My name is Major Mike Webb, and I am running for U.S. Congress next year in Jerusalem, in liberty, with honor and excellence, the South shall rise again. This advertisement was authorized by Mike Webb. Now, where is that black cowboy? Just let me take a swig at him. Hell, who turned out the light?